Greetings, Nicholas. I come here to impart information about electricity. Right, you're asking about 12 volt batteries and the fact that they spark when you hold the leads together. They do because there isn't much resistance in the leads. So V equals IR. If R is extremely small, I is extremely high. Alternatively, I equals V upon R. So let's go 12 volts divided by about 0 0.001 of an ohm and you get 12,000 amps. Okay, so no wonder the thing goes freaking crazy. Bang, bang, arcing. However, your resistance is a lot higher than 0 0.001 of an ohm. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in Toronto, so I'm going to tell you my resistance. So here I have my trusty multimeter. Currently it reads overload because there isn't anything being measured. The resistance of the air is infinitely high. Let's put the leads together and it goes to about zero. That's right, there's not a lot of resistance in the leads. Right, let's now try me. So I'll point into one finger. Actually, let's do my thumb and the other thumb and it's still reading, sorry, this is hard to see, overload. So I said your resistance was about 2,000 ohms. It turns out the resistance is probably way more than that. Um, I'm now dicking with it to try and get a reading. Now, if I was to stick it into my skin, that would make things go a bit wrong because my blood's a fair bit more conductive. I'm not recommending you impale yourself on your battery. Uh, anyhow, it turns out my resistance is a lot. It's more than 20,000 ohms. Let's try 200,000. Oh, I got a brief reading there. Now I'm on 2 million ohms. Wow. Turns out my resistance is about 1,980. 80,000 ohms. Sorry, 1.9 million ohms. Frequently going up even higher than that. I'll see if I... There we are. Oh, oh. oh, look at that. 1.5 million ohms. Under man. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go and do the unthinkable. I'm going to go and touch a car battery. Ah! I'm fine. And welcome back. Here we are under the bonnet of my WRX Impreza and as we can see there is the 12 volt battery. Okay, trying to get the terminals into screen. Alright, so here's the neg terminal. That's my finger on it. Let's put the other finger on the POS terminal. This is actually hard to do and get everything in screen at the same time. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Ah! I'm kidding. <laughs> so you can see the thumb and finger are touching the terminals. That's actually going straight across my heart. 12 volts. Oh, dear Lord. But look, it says it's cold cranking amps 540. I have got 540 amps going through me? No, I don't. Because my resistance, as we've just seen, is 1.3 million ohms. So let's do V equals IR, or I equals V upon R. So let's do 12 divided by 1.3 million. Let's make it 1.2 million, just for easy maths. And we basically get point zero 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 one amps. So no, no arcing, no sparking. In fact, jack shit happened. 12 volts DC is 12 volts DC, irrespective of whether it comes from a lithium battery, a NiCad battery, or a lead acid battery with 1 million cold cranking amps. 12 volts is 12 volts. The current will be the voltage divided by the resistance, not the cold cranking amps. Okay, that is Ohm's law. It is called a law for a reason. It must be followed.